Hello everyone. Today we are going to see an important term that is frequency. Practically we are going to visualize this frequency. How this frequency looks like practically. Frequency is the number of occurrences of a repeating event per unit of time. Electrical frequency is the measure of the rate of that oscillation and is measured in the number of changes per second, also called hertz. As you know in India the frequency is 50 hertz in the electricity and in America it is 60 hertz. For example, if it is 50 hertz, then it should complete 50 cycles in one second. If it is 60 hertz, it should complete 60 cycles in one second. Let us now start the experiment as I have the function generator, also the DSO and the galvanometer. I will switch on the input as I have given the sinusoidal input with frequency 1 hertz and some amplitude that is 0 0.03 peak to peak. And you can see the galvanometer is showing the deflection that is from 10 to 10. There is a deflection. So I have given 1 hertz. That means in one second, one cycle is getting complete. Uh, if I will give 5 hertz, that means 5 cycles will complete in one second. Right now I have given 1 hertz. You can clearly see in one second, one cycle is getting complete. That means it is crossing 0 uh, once in per second. So if I will give 2 hertz, it will complete 2 cycles per second. That means it will cross 0 2 times. Right now I have given 1 hertz. You can clearly see. You can clearly see on DSO as well as on this uh, on this galvanometer, you can see one cycle is getting complete. Now what I will do, I will increase the frequency. This is very interesting. When I will give 2 hertz, that means number of cycles will increase to 2. So in one second, 2 cycles should cross. Now I will give 2 hertz, that means in one second, 2 cycles should complete. You can clearly see on galvanometer, the needle is crossing 0 2 times in one second. Now we will observe another interesting thing. I will give 0.1 hertz frequency as you can see I have given 0.1 hertz that is 1 by 10th of the frequency and you can see it will take almost 10 seconds to complete a cycle you can see on the galvanometer as well as on the DSO it will take almost 10 seconds to cross 0 that means to cross one cycle it will take almost 10 seconds it's a sinusoidal signal as you can see the positive cycle and the negative cycle as you can see on DSO, one cycle mean is going from 0 to maximum, maximum to 0, then back to maximum. Now we will increase the frequency from 1 hertz, 2 hertz, up to 50 hertz. The more we will increase the frequency, the time period gets reduced. Look, I have given 2 hertz, you can see 2 cycles are getting complete. Similarly, if I will increase it to 3 hertz, you can see, if I will increase it to 3 hertz, you can see 3 cycles are getting complete. Also, you can see 3 cycles are getting complete in one second. Four hertz that means 4 cycles are getting in, in 1 second similarly 5 hertz that means 5 cycles are getting complete so as the time period is getting reduced for the naked eye it is very difficult to visualize still you can visualize that it is going from positive to negative direction further if I will increase from 6 hertz you can see still you can visualize here is as well as here uh, you can visualize it 8 hertz you can still visualize on 9 hertz you can visualize 10 hertz you can still visualize here as well as here 11 hertz you can visualize you can see the time period is getting less and less so it is very difficult you can visualize it further 13 15 so the more i will increase the frequency the time period will get less you cannot now visualize because the time period is very less so to, for the naked eye to visualize it is very difficult in india you, you know that it is 50 hertz so i will go directly to 50 hertz so the nature of the uh, frequency will be like this 50 hertz as now you can see there is no deflection on the galvanometer as we have given 50 hertz that means 50 cycles are getting complete in one second that is almost impossible to see by the naked eye thank you very much